Okay, hi, welcome to yoga. Thanks for joining me, I'm Joanne. We will start today's practice on the back. Um, so let's start with a sort of passive heart opener. So I want you to grab a towel or a blanket and you're gonna make a roll. Now this is a really, really thick roll. That's probably too thick for me and I'm pretty, pretty flexible in my upper back, not hugely flexible. But most of us are going to want something smaller than that, I think. So you're going to maybe take the long edge of your mat or a small towel, and you don't even need to roll it the whole way. You could roll it part way and then place it toward the top of your mat. So whatever height is comfortable where you can relax, but get a little bit of a stretch in the chest. So we don't want it to be too intense, especially here at the beginning because we're not warmed up yet. So you basically want the roll to hit the bottom of your shoulder blade, your chicken wing. So if you pull your shoulder blade back, you should feel the bottom. You might feel the bottom, you may not feel it, but basically for women, it's just almost where the bra strap would be. So that's where you want the top of the roll to be. So we don't want it too low and we don't want it too high. We want it to align right at our, Tip of the shoulder blade there. So find that alignment. Maybe if someone's home, they can help you with that too. I usually like to do this in person because I think we have a tendency to go too low on the roll. We're really trying to open the chest and the upper back shoulders. So see if you can find that wing, align it with the top of your roll. Then you can just let the arms float out to the side, palms up. And if it's too much of a lift, you might find your chin is lifting like mine is right now. And then you're going to want to reduce it so that you, or you could also place a prop under your head. So I'm going to lower my roll a little bit so that my chin is not lifted. Yeah, that's way better. So adjust yourself so you're comfortable. Again, it's pretty passive, arms open. And then the feet can be on the floor, knees bent, if that's comfortable, or you might stretch the legs out. So whatever feels better on your back. Nice to start in a different position. We always feel like we always start seated, so this is great. So <clears throat> again, palms up, make sure the neck is neutral. And then once you're situated, go ahead and let the eyes gently close. And you might even part your lips slightly so your jaw is relaxed. And notice that my fingers are curled toward the palm so they're not open. I'm not holding my hand open, they're just relaxed. Again, make sure the back is comfortable. So you might tilt the pelvis a little bit. And again, we're focused on opening the chest here, the shoulders. This is also expanding our lungs. So as we lie over the roll, we want to think about the breath next. Um, so we want to infuse oxygen through the whole lung system, the whole body. So as you inhale, I want you to think about the breath starting in the lower abdomen. And then it's going to move out to the sides through the rib cage and all the way up over the roll into the chest and the top of your lungs. So it's coming up and over the roll like a wave. So we bring the breath all the way over the roll. And then as we exhale through our nose, we gently reverse the wave back down. And then we're going to squeeze the navel toward the spine just a little bit, engage that core. So you can really get all the stale air out of your lungs and out of your body. And then the inhale should automatically come back into the belly and bring the wave over the roll again. So a nice ebbing and flowing of your breath. And as we're passively sort of opening the chest here and breathing, we might want to think about an intention or dedication for our practice, if that's something that resonates with you. You 
might repeat that intention or dedication three times to yourself to get that anchored into your subconscious for the practice. Really allowing the breath to sort of open that space a bit more. So the breath is also stretching and opening through the body. Literally inspiring your practice. Keep the breath moving nice and deep. Let's just take a few more breaths here on the back. So just keep allowing space to open up in the upper chest and the whole body. Letting go with each exhale. Take a couple more breaths here. Before we move from this space, let's just kind of take note um, as we're breathing and lying over the roll here. Chest is nice and open, chin is neutral. Just observing any sensation in the body. So, in addition to the breath moving, you might feel pulsations, you might feel the skin stretching, you might feel muscles opening. Just take it. Let's take a little moment here to kind of observe sensation, whatever's going on. You might notice the air in the room on your skin, the temperature. Just feeling it all antsy or anxious. Just note that. Trying to change or resist anything, we're just observing. Do another breath or two with that in mind. Great, and then you're gonna slowly come off the roll. So depending on if you're like me and your roll is not totally round, and you have this extra material, it's not gonna be as easy to come off of it. So typically if you're not, you can sort of lift your feet, lift your hips and pull the roll out, unless you have your roll like I do, in which case I'm just gonna roll it, roll over to the side to remove it. Then we're gonna come back to our back, just to observe that sensation now that we've sort of passively opened the chest come back to that same position flat on the back mostly flat and just observe how that feels so i feel a lot more like space in, in my lungs and my chest i feel like my shoulders are more open not rounding so 
nice to take a moment there to see how that feels. Let's rock the head gently side to side. Just begin to massage kind of the back of the head, loosening into the neck a little bit. Good, and then let's take the right knee into the chest. We're gonna give it a little squeeze. You can keep the other foot on the ground. I'm just gonna squeeze the knee in to stretch the low back a little bit the other way. It might've been a little bit arched in that position. And let's rotate the ankles. So we're gonna make some circles with the big toe in both directions, go both directions. Just kind of squeeze the knee into the chest. Keep breathing into the belly. Good, release that knee down. Let's take the other knee into the chest, squeeze it in, and rotate the toe. Big circles, popping your ankle, maybe. Some stagnation in the joint there. It's nice to make some circles and just open up the energy flow there. Noticing if one side is a little louder than the other, which I'm noticing. Good, and release that leg back down to the floor. And then let's keep the feet on the floor, knees or hip width, hands here are gonna come down by the side next to the hips. And we're just gonna do a couple small pelvic tilts, nothing too crazy yet here. So palms down, feet down. Make sure the neck again is neutral so the chin is not lifted. And then nice and slow and at your pace, you're just gonna inhale, press the low back down and then peel the hips up. Draw your knees forward, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. So I want you to try to articulate each vertebrae so that you're really moving intentionally and from the musculature and the core here so we're not just pressing up and down. Just really try to feel this from the inside out. So inhale, lift, nice and slow. Breathing, exhale, down. One vertebra at a time. So we're tucking the tailbone so that comes down last. And let's do that one more time. Inhale, tuck the tailbone, press the back down. So you're kind of pushing the low back down, engage the core and lift. Nice and gently. Let's pause at the top. Take a deep breath here. Make sure you're comfortable. Good. And then on your exhale, slowly come down. Tuck the tailbone. Nice, good. And then we're gonna slowly roll over onto the right side. Use your left hand to push yourself to a comfortable seat. We're gonna come up to a seated pose. And then you might take your roller blanket. And this will be fun if you've been practicing with me to see how this feels. Because this is usually where we're starting. So I'm gonna use my prop to sit up tall. Comfortable cross-legged seat. And then we'll come into easy pose. So just seeing how that stretch we did at the beginning, how that feels in the chest, definitely feels different to me than usual. So it's nice to start that way. So let's shrug the shoulders up and down the back, open the chest a little bit, and then tag a little weight into the elbows. And then we're just gonna kind of have the head floating above the spine. So your head is over the shoulders, is over the hips. So we're nice and tall. We want to lift through the pelvis a little bit again. So feel that engagement in the core that's sort of lifting us up and supporting our body and our posture. So let's take a deep breath in together. And as we exhale, we're just going to bow the chin to the chest. Take a moment to thank yourself for coming to practice today. Thank you for joining me. And always honor yourself in the practice. If anything is uncomfortable, please don't do it. So you have to be your own guide at home. And then we'll begin to find some gentle movement. So just inhale through one side, exhale, chin forward, inhale to the second side, just opening through the neck gently. So you might start smaller, you might feel pretty good and be ready to kind of come more into the Full opening. So listen to your body and let your breath kind of guide you here. So the 
movements are nice and slow and intentional. Notice if there's anywhere that's a little more tight, maybe you pause and work in that space a little bit. And let's come to the first side again. Inhale, open the chest, drop your shoulders, ears over the shoulder. Walk your opposite hand out to the side, touch the fingers down. You might need a prop, a pillow, or something closer um, so that you can touch the ground or the floor, whatever you're reaching toward. And then ears over the shoulder here. So we'll just gently rotate, look down over your bottom shoulder, and rotate with the nose. So we're going side to side. We're not going up and down, we're going side to side. Inhale as you look up toward the other corner and then exhale as you look down over the bottom shoulder. So feeling how that changes through the front and the back of the neck. You might play the angle to find the sweet spot for you wherever you need the most stretch and release. So keep the breath moving. So we're always opening with the breath. One more breath over here. Good, bring the head back to the center of the screen and then lift the head upright. And you're gonna take that same arm and lift it up. Keep the shoulder down so you're not um, bringing the shoulder up by the ear. We wanna keep the shoulder relaxed, so a little bit lower and stretch through your fingertips. Just begin to wiggle your fingers around all Five fingers, assuming you have five fingers, are going to move so we can feel that into the forearm, up the whole arm. And then we're going to flex or pull the fingers toward the face to stretch through the forearm and then pull the fingers down. So a few of those pull back and pull down. Good. Keep the breath moving, keep the shoulder relaxed. Do one more. Good. Send the fingers out. Pull the fingers toward the face. And then we're going to pull, rotate toward the front and toward the back. Good. Just a couple times rotating, holding the, um, the joint, uh, sorry, the, the arm bone, the humerus in the socket. So we're just kind of rotating forward and back, isolating in the joint here. So we're not moving anything else. Good, one more time. Good, and then shake out a little bit, lower that arm down, bring it back to your leg, drop the chin to the chest, just see how that feels. And we'll do the other side, inhale to your second side. Check the posture is lifted, ears over the shoulder, opposite arm stretches out to the floor or a prop. So make sure you're nice and tall and supported internally. And then we'll begin to rotate. Exhale, look down over the shoulder. Inhale, gaze up to the other corner. Maybe play the angle. Keep the breath moving. Nice smooth rotation with the breath. Good, one more breath. Keep it down. Good, then you'll bring the nose toward the screen here. Lift the head upright. Reach that arm out nice and long. Again, keep the Hand arm a little lower than shoulder height and just start to wiggle all of your fingers. Moving all of the fingers, including the thumb. Keep that shoulder nice and relaxed. Good, and then we'll bring the fingers toward the face and then toward the floor. Good, keep breathing. I don't know about you guys, if you work on computers and stuff, this, I, I don't really work on a computer either, but this is, I find a lot going on in the forearm. <laughs> Texting, I guess, and, and, you know, I use needles and acupuncture.
I'm sure a little fine motor skills there. So if you're typing or texting, there's a lot going on. Congestion, I think, in that area. So it's nice to give it a little attention. And then let's pull the fingers out. Good. And then we'll draw them up again, pull them toward your face, and then we'll begin to rotate forward and back. Make sure that shoulder's relaxed and you're trying to, again, isolate the movement just to the joint. Just kind of thinking about cleaning out any stuck stuff in that shoulder joint. If anything's painful, don't do it. Or work in a way that it's not painful. Good, let's take one more breath here. Good, and then we'll kind of shake it out, lower it down, and release. Good. You can move your shoulders around, see how that feels. Good, let's inhale as we sleep up. We're going to gather some energy, breathe in nice and deep. Maybe gaze up toward the sky. As you exhale, you're going to release past your fingertips. Feel the energy moving out. Inhale as you gather and lift. A little resistance. Exhale as you release. Nice to think about releasing anything you don't need. Let's do one more breath, deep breath in and out. Good. From here, you might want to switch to cross the legs. If you've been sitting there for a while, you can switch it out. That feels good. We're going to inhale, take one arm up, keep your shoulders off. We're going to walk over to the side and fold, feeling the side body stretch here. And then from here, I want you to think about, we're gonna roll forward. So we're gonna turn our torso toward the floor, lead with your elbow and sweep across as far as you can out in front of you with both arms, nice and fluid, and then lift up to the other side. Let's pause here for a moment, take a breath. You're feeling the torso pull in the opposite direction of your fold. Elbows are relaxed. Arm is kind of stretched out, fingers nice and elongated. Good, and then turn the torso again, lead with the elbow and pull through. So I want you to feel this down the whole side body, all the way into your hip. And then inhale up. Good, and then we're just gonna take a couple of those moving with your breath. Kind of a moving meditation. Let your breath kind of lead you. Exhale, reach across, inhale, lift. Good, let's do one more exhale. And we'll take it across last time. Lift. And last time to the first side. And lift. Good. Let's lift all the way back up, nice and tall, lower the arm by the side. Beautiful. We're coming to a tabletop on the hands and knees. So removing your cushion. You might have your blanket nearby for your knees if you need a little extra cushioning on your knees which I like <laughs> as I get older these days. It's nice to have a little softness, especially if you're on a hard floor like I am with tile. Carpets make it a little friendlier, but also harder to do standing stuff and balance. So coming on to all fours, press the mat away from you. Knees are under the hips, hands are under the shoulders, and open the chest. So I want you to open the inside of the elbow forward and engage the full surface of your hand in the mat. If um, you have any wrist issues, you can always use fists as well. That takes the wrist out of it a little bit. Activate the tops of the feet into the floor and the hands. So we're lifting through the core of the pelvis. So we're not sagging our belly. We're engaging our navel toward our spine. Our neck is long. And then let's drop the belly, send the tail and crown far away for cow pose. And then as we exhale, we're going to round the spine up for cat pose. Drop the tail and the head. Push up. And then again, you're going to let the breath guide you. You might even close the eyes as you inhale and exhale through your poses. So when you inhale, I want you to think about lengthening the spine. And as you exhale, rounding up. So we're creating lots of space, releasing tension, warming up the spine in between our vertebra. Good, and then 
take one more round. And then we'll meet in our tabletop pose. Back to a neutral position. Good, and then from tabletop, we're gonna make some big circles. So this is kind of free form. You can do what you like, Close, maybe closing the eyes is nice. And then make sure you've got a nice firm foundation, but you're gonna kind of move through one side. You can kind of round through the side and push back over the hips. And then inhale, come through the other side and forward. You might come in front of your hands, you might not. So just big circles. See how big you can make your circle. See if you can feel this through the whole torso, into the hip, into the shoulders, letting the breath move you, exhaling as you move back, and inhaling as you come forward. And again, think about your core here too. So we don't want to just be soft and saggy in the belly. We want to kind of engage the navel a little bit toward the spine so we're protecting our low back. And then we'll reverse the direction. So go the other way. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Ooh, nice little shoulder pop up here. Exhale back. So just kind of trying to open up some space, moving around. A lot of popping shoulders today. So it's interesting to note, and then we'll come back to all fours. Good, so set yourself up. And then let's come, um, bring your knees down behind your hips just a, a tiny bit. Hands are still under the shoulders. And then I'm gonna bend at the elbows and I'm gonna plant my chest between my hands. I'm gonna try to keep my hips in the air as I lower down, use your core. And then awkward S pose here. So we'll slide the legs out. Pop to the feet, we'll glue to the mat. And then inhale as you pull your heart forward for low cobra. Keep the feet down and breathe into your belly here. So the neck is long and loose. My elbows are hugging in, shoulders are back. You might lift the hands. Good, and then release down. Bring your chin down. And then we'll come into awkward us pose the other way. We'll kind of reverse out of it from the floor just so you can feel that difference. Um, I know this is a kind of a difficult posture, especially for females who have or larger chests so that can be difficult. So chin down, hands next to the heart or next to the chest. You're gonna tuck your toes under and then you're just gonna inch your knees up and lift your hips. So it's kind of a nice deep stretch for the back. A little breath here, deep breath in. And then as you exhale, push yourself back up to all fours. Good, so we're meeting on all fours. Knees are still behind my hip points a little. I'm gonna tuck my toes. Before you come up, make sure the insides of the elbows are rotating forward. Your hands are fully engaged on the floor. And then slowly peel your hips up for downward dog. Keep your knees bent and then walk one leg out and then the other. So. Take your time, lean into the hamstrings a little bit, and breathe. Let's walk ourselves all the way up to the front of the mat. We'll come to standing forward bend for a moment. Measure the distance between your feet about hip width. Bend the knees as much as you need, hands down, forehead tucked. Good, and then feel the weight on all four corners of your feet. So we don't wanna grip the floor with our toes, just softness, nice even weight distribution on the feet. Let the arms dangle out in front of you, maybe shake your head a little yes and no. Take a deep breath in here and sigh it out through the mouth, letting go of any tension. And then slowly roll up, inhale, slowly tuck the chin and roll yourself to the top of the mat. Shrug your shoulders at the top as you open the chest. We'll meet in mountain pose, so nice neutral pelvis here. Heavy suitcases in the hands. Good, retract your chin just slightly so the head is directly above the spine. And then from here, we're gonna reach the arms back, take a deep breath in as you lift the arms. 
And then as you exhale, soften your knees and swan dive into your forward bend. Rock the forehead. On your inhale, you're going to come into a flat back. So hands on the thighs, maybe. Lengthen your spine parallel to the floor. Keeping the neck and the spine in alignment. Excellent. And then fold again, forward bend. From your forward bend, hands are next to your feet. Take a giant step back with your right leg and then drop your back knee. Uncurl the back toes here. Stacking the knee above the heel, we're gonna scissor the legs and rise up. So coming up, balancing here. Again, legs scissor toward the midline, so we're feeling that lift through the pelvis internally and then lift the arms up. So squeeze the legs toward the midline gently. Lift up, drop your shoulders as you extend your fingers. So we're stretching this back hip flexor. If it's too easy, you can take your knee further away. If it's too difficult, bring it closer to the front foot. This stays nice and constant. Breathe here. Good. And then let's take a nice, easy twist from here. So you're gonna lengthen up, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, bring your front arm to the opposite knee and twist. So front arm forward, other arm back. So you're twisting toward the front knee side. Keep your shoulders aligned. So we're just twisting, we're not leaning. And nice and tall here, breathe. Good, reach up, inhale, lift. Exhale, float the hands down, frame that foot. We're gonna tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee, take your hips high, step it back, down the dog. Take your time getting there. From downward dog, we're gonna float into plank pose. And as you do that, I want you to think about the musculature hugging the bones. So we're gonna inhale, lift, use your muscles as you move, bringing shoulders above wrists, nice and uh, firm in our core. Exhale, drop the knees, the chest, and the chin. And then slide into a cobra. Lift the heart. Feet are glued. Take one more breath here. Good. Release down. Tuck your toes. You can come through tabletop or straight back to your downward dog. Good. And then from here, you're going to bend your knees. And gaze to the front of your mat, past your hands, and then you're gonna pull the right leg forward. Assuming you start with the right leg back, pull it forward, drop the back knee, and then curl the toes. Again, this is the constant back leg is the variable. Come up when you're ready, scissor toward the midline. When you feel steady, add the arms. Ground your shoulders, lengthen through your fingers. Nice deep breath. So maybe as you breathe deep, you feel that deeper stretch in the, in the abdomen. So you wanna make sure this knee is directly above your heel. So if you're kind of leaned back, you might come forward a little. Yep, beautiful. Lift up. And then from here, we're gonna open our twist to the front knee side again. Reach, stay nice and tall. Good. Deep breath here. Good, and then come back, inhale, lift. Exhale, float the hands down, frame the foot. Tuck your back toes under, lift the knee, and then step it up, come to forward bend. Hold here. Good, roll yourself up, inhale. Back to the top of the mat, mountain pose. Shrug your shoulders to open the chest, neutral pelvis. Inhale, lift. Good, exhale, soften, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, bow. Hands plant next to your feet. We'll take the right leg back again. Giant step back, come to a rounder's lunge. So we're gonna lower the hips. And then I want you to kind of soften your back knee a little bit. Make sure the knee is above the front heel as you lift. We're gonna come up 
in our lunge, with our back heel lifted and the back leg soft. So we wanna keep the pelvis neutral here, working again those hip flexors, send the arms up, ground your shoulders. And then maybe you can straighten the leg without dumping the pelvis forward, right? Try to keep the pelvis neutral and then drive the heel back. So you might not get far, that's okay. Here you are, a little balance here, shoulders ground, fingers reach, back to your breath. Good, and then we're gonna slowly pivot the back foot down and open ourselves out into a warrior two. Good, check heel to arch alignment or heel to heel, arms extend. Our front hip is opening up toward the knee side. So our shoulders are above our hips. Our back foot is nice and grounded. We're gonna turn the front palm to the sky. And then we're gonna inhale, reach forward. And as you exhale, float back for a peaceful warrior. Keep the legs the same. Try not to lose that bend in the front leg. And lift up. Take a deep breath into your lungs, into your ribs here. Opening the chest. So you're kind of aiming the torso toward the front of the mat. We're not kind of all the way to the side. We're opening up. Should feel great. And then exhale, come back to your warrior two. Good. From here, we're going to cartwheel our hands down to frame the foot. Turn that back heel up, lift your hips high, and step back to your downward dog. Pedal your feet out a little bit. Good, from here, again, think of musculature, hugging bone, inhale, roll into plank pose. Nice and mindfully and smoothly. Exhale, drop knees, chest, chin. Good, slide into your cobra, tops of the feet down. And this time we're gonna slide the elbows under our shoulders for sphinx pose. Make sure your arms are parallel and open in the front, feet are glued. Tuck your tailbone, lift up out of your shoulders. If this is too much, you could take your arms wider than your mat and try that. If you can have your elbows under your shoulders, it's nice to stack bones, but if it's too much of a lift, take your arms out a little wide and just make sure you're not straining your shoulders. Open up, tailbone draws toward the heels, a little deeper stretch for the back. Deep breath. My hips are still on the ground. They're not lifted. Put one more breath. And then we'll slowly slide the hands back under the shoulders. Bring the chin down. Good. From here, breathe in. And then exhale, tuck your toes, your tabletop, or straight back downward dog. Collect your breath. And then again, we'll bend our knees as we gaze forward. Same leg that went back. So if you're following me, the right leg will come forward. Step it up, or you can pull it forward if it doesn't reach all the way up. Starting in our lunge, you can come on fingertips. You might even use blocks here. Soften that back knee. Make sure this is the right angle here. And then lift with that back knee nice and soft so our pelvis is neutral. Add the arms, find your balance. Stand your breath. Good, and then from here, you might feel a nice deep stretch here. You might not need to even go further, but if you can, drive the heel back a little more without losing your pelvic neutral position. Try that. Deep breath. Take one more breath here. Beautiful, slowly when you're ready. We're gonna pivot the back foot down, open ourselves out for warrior two. Let me turn around so my back is not to you. Check your stance of just if you need, stacking shoulders above hips. This front hip again opens toward the knee. We gaze to the front hand and breathe. You might wanna go deeper if you wanna challenge yourself, listen to your body. Again, make sure that knee doesn't Pass the heel, turn the front palm up. Inhale as you reach, reach, reach. And then exhale as you float and lift back. 
Good. Keeping the legs working, opening through the ribs and breathe here. Expanding the lungs in this position, opening the chest. All those muscles between your ribs, one more breath here. Good, slowly come back down to warrior two. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, frame that foot. And then we'll step it up to bend your back knee a little bit, step forward, come to forward fold. Good, inhale, roll yourself up to the top of your mat, shrug your shoulders and open the chest. Excellent. Let's inhale, lift. We're gonna catch a wrist and take a side stretch here. So reach up and over. Good, inhale through center and switch sides, reach up and over. Good, inhale, open, release the arms down, shrug your shoulders to open your chest. And when I come to the center of the mat, I'm gonna move my little blanket to the side. <laughs> and we're gonna do a balance pose. Good, so from here, I'd like us to try the dancer today. Um, it's a nice one to stretch the quads again, a little in the hip flexors and open the chest challenge or balance. <clears throat> so I'll turn a little bit to the side and I'm going to take my right hand. You can start on your left side, whichever side you want. Turning my thumb back, I'm going to shift the weight to my opposite leg. I'm going to fix my gaze. I'm nice and tall, engaged in mountain pose. And then when I feel ready, after I fix my gaze, I'm going to keep breathing and I'm going to swing my right foot into my right hand, catching the instep of my, of my foot, not the outside of my foot. My opposite arm will reach up. And if you need a towel here, if you can't reach the foot, you could use a towel or a strap, which I tried to demonstrate one week and did a terrible job of. But, um, so we're gonna reach, you could take a strap. Shouldn't, shouldn't be such a terrible leader or teacher. So you can take the strap, around the <laughs> top of the foot, hold it behind you, and then use the strap if you need. So that's an option. You can reach the foot free, don't worry about it. And from here, breathe in, and then on your exhale, you're gonna kick back and hinge over the hip. So opening the chest, breathing, <laughs> and if you fall out, just try again, starting from the beginning. And then feeling that really open the shoulder and the quad. So we're kicking back, we're not pulling, we're kicking out. One more breath maybe if you're still with me. Good, and then we'll slowly lower down. Nice, and then shake it out. And then you wanna forget about it. Whatever happened on that side doesn't matter. If you succeeded or had a challenge, none of it matters. So we're starting on the other side. <laughs> so again, you can loop the strap across the foot. I'm gonna turn my hand out, or if you're using the strap, you're holding your strap to start. And then shift the weight to the other leg and then catch the foot or pull your strap. Opposite arm is going to stretch up for a counterbalance. Catch the foot, hold the inside of your foot. Breathe in, and when you're ready, you're going to hinge, kick back, open the chest, and using that standing leg as your fulcrum for balance. Keep breathing, keep the gaze soft. Nice. Let's take one more breath. Nice shifting dancer. And then we'll slowly come out. Good. Lower the arm. Open the chest. Nice work. Good. Okay. So next, shake that out. 
We're going to come down to the mat again. So we're going to come onto the knees and then you could use a towel or blanket. We're going to, I'm going to roll the front of my mat up. You make a little cushion and come onto my knees. So we're going to do the camel. So my knees are hip width apart. I'm going to tuck my toes under so I don't have as far to reach my heels. If you're more advanced, the toes can stay uncurled. Um, I'm tucking mine under. I'm going to start with my hands around my waist to support my low back. My saber. So my hands are fingers are down and my thumbs kind of around the waist here for some nice support. And then I pull my elbows behind me to kind of open the chest. So I want you to feel momentum coming through the front of the body. So we're still stretching in the quads a little bit here and the chest elbows pull back and we're lifting the sternum. So you wanna keep that space between chin and chest neutral again. So we don't wanna drop the head back. We don't wanna to tuck too much. So nice, imagine an orange there. And then from here, we're gonna lift the sternum, breathe in, nice deep breath. And option one is just to stay here and just maybe lean back a little bit. You may not get far and feel that stretch. So pulling forward. Option two is one hand at a time to the heels. Still pulling forward. Tuck the tailbone. And breathe. More advanced, you'd have the legs untucked, the feet, uh, the toes untucked. Good. One more breath here. And then when you're ready, one hand at a time, we'll come to the back for support if you come off the back and then lift up. Good, deep pose there. So untuck your toes and then we're gonna sit on the heels. <clears throat> you're gonna unfurl your mat. Good, and then from here, bring the arms by the side and slowly lower your forehead to the floor for, for a child pose. If that's comfortable, you can place a bolster underneath you if you need some support, if it's difficult, or a blanket behind the knees. And then breathe into your back. Good, nice and slowly sit up on those heels to come up out of your child pose, and then swing the legs around to the front. We're gonna lift the flesh. And then we're gonna come down to the back. So draw the toes toward the face and you're gonna roll yourself out. Use your core to slow your roll. Keep your feet glued to the floor, come all the way down. <clears throat> when you get to the floor, we're gonna bend the knees. Place your feet on the floor. Make sure the head is neutral. And then we're gonna take figure four on the back. So cross the right ankle over the left thigh. And then you might flex the top foot. You're going to reach the right hand through the hole and connect behind your left thigh. Soften your left leg. So you could use a towel here if you need as well to hold. If it's difficult to reach. So make sure the neck is neutral. We're going to draw that toward you, the whole unit toward your chest. If you want a deeper stretch, you can take your Right elbow into your right thigh to open and push that away. That should deepen the stretch, flexing the top foot to protect the knee. And breathe. So you might find just a gentle movement here. Just like a slight, we want to keep our back on the ground. But you might just kind of move gently, small little circles, maybe a little side to side. Just Feeling into your stretch and not going past your edge, just breathing and letting the breath kind of open up the space for you. You're not forcing anything or pulling too much. You want to just feel comfortable. Good. We'll take one more breath. Good, and then we're gonna slowly release that down, uncross the leg. Maybe just take a nice quick windshield wiper of the knees side to side before you come back to center. 
and then we'll cross the left over the right. Again, reach the left hand through the hole, connect with your towel or your hands behind the thigh, soften that bottom leg, and then flex the top foot. Pull the unit toward your chest. Make sure the neck is loose, and then maybe the elbow presses the thigh out. And then just close your eyes and breathe. Slight, slight movement, so just side to side or little tiny circles with the knee. Really small movement just to sort of shift around in there. Whatever you might feel. You need a little opening, but again, we're not forcing anything here, just gently breathing and moving. Then my bird clock might go off pretty soon. I apologize. We'll go a few minutes after that. Ten minutes. Good. And then one more breath. And then we'll slowly release that leg down again. Uncross the legs. Maybe one more windshield wiper of your knees side to side. Good, and then from there, from here, we will allow the knees to be on the, I'm sorry, the feet to stay on the floor if you want. You can let the knees come toward the center. And if you feel pretty comfortable in the back, you can stretch your legs all the way out. Let the feet just flop out to the sides. And then you're gonna tuck your shoulders under your chest to open the heart, let the palms face up. And then gently rock your head a little side to side. Make sure that the neck is neutral. Fingertips curl toward the palm as they relax. And let the eyes gently close. Allow the lips to part slightly so your jaw is relaxed. And then close your eyes and just go to your favorite place. Might be the beach, might be the forest, might be the mountains, might be right where you, where you are. But just allow your body to rest and relax. Letting go of any tension you might find, any residual tension, use your out breath to let it go. You might even sigh it out. And just let the body float in your favorite place, wherever that might be. After the bird clap, <laughs> I invite you to go back to your favorite place. Just let go. So allow your body to completely relax. Try not to think about anything that you've got on your agenda today, later, and just allow your body to be here and to sort of assimilate and process all the postures that we did today, all that work you did. Letting it kind of infuse your tissues. Relax, relax, relax.
and gently just begin to wiggle fingers and toes. And maybe rotate the ankles and the wrists to bring a little more movement back into the body. Maybe rock your head a little bit side to side. Nice and slowly as you're ready, place your feet on the floor if you're not there already and roll onto the right side of your body to a fetal pose. Coming onto the side for just a moment, I want you to notice any changes between now and the beginning of practice. And if you set an intention or dedication for your practice, just bring that to mind again. Nice and slowly, you're going to use your left hand to push yourself back up to a comfortable seat. And we'll meet in our easy pose. So if you need to sit up on your prop, please do that. Floating on the spine here. And then let's inhale as we sweep the arms up together. We'll gather some more energy. Breathe in deep. Feeling your hands at the top and lower them to your heart. Bow to yourself with gratitude for practicing yoga today. And we'll bow to each other. Namaste. Namaste.